Hello again. I actually can't get to sleep. Um, it's now one o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock. Just thinking about my YouTube channel and my blog channel. My blog channel? My blog. I'm thinking, does anyone really read it? Is there any point of me really doing it? I don't know. I've had a real dip in my views. In the summer, everyone. I know I was watching them and now no one cares. But I guess it is gonna be like that. Like I need to think of more interesting ideas. Like and because I haven't been getting a lot of views, I haven't been putting that much effort into it. Like I haven't posted a blog since like my birthday I think. Or like around my birthday, so that's like a month ago. And I used to do it every week, like bi-weekly, <laughs> or at least like, at least like one a week, and now it's just like, <laughs> but I think it's just because like, no one really reads them anymore. But I want to keep doing it, like I want to get followers and stuff, because I want to like talk to people that will understand and like appreciate it. Like, I don't want it just all to be about plus size, because in, in the general, like, grand scheme of things, I'm a small plus size woman, and like, I don't know if it's because, like, people look at me and say, like, oh, she's not plus size enough, like, she doesn't know what we're going through, but I am, because I've been there, like, I was a size 20 when I was 18. I'm now 21, but when I was 18, like just turning 19, I was wearing a size 20, and like that time of my life, I was really, really like upset and down about my self confidence. But I was probably having the best like time with all my friends and everything, and I think that they didn't care. But as soon as they left, like and went to uni. I kind of like lost all the weight because like I wasn't eating properly and things like that, like I wasn't eating right and I was walking a lot because I had a job, like I had a new job so I lost a lot of weight but I was losing weight and like thinking worse about myself. I thought that I was still like too big and I'd still wear like size 20 stuff when I was like size 18 which I know is not that different but when you think about it like I try on some of my size 20 clothes that I've still got and they're like so big and I just think like that wasn't healthy for me to be that size like I needed to be fit like of course it's okay to be a size 20 like of course it is but I was an unfit size 20 like and that's not good for you like you need to be fit and healthy like all the bloggers that I follow like they eat like a whole tray of cheese but they still like walk everywhere they still go to the gym they still like get the exercise and eat right even though they're just a bigger size and like, I was eating awful and I literally just laid in bed all day and it was not healthy, like, at all. And I drink a lot too because I just turned 18. Um, and then I kind of like, I was a size 18 because like I was losing weight because like I didn't eat as much as I did at school because I used to like do things like have breakfast and then get to school and then there'd be like the canteen open and I'd be like oh I'll just have some toast and then it's like oh I've packed a lunch and then I eat that like, a break and then I'm like oh I'll have a second lunch and not being like I need to binge on food but being like I want to eat because I'm hung like I'm bored which was not great <laughs> like I get it like that's how I put on the weight um, 
but I just think that it's not good for you to put on that amount of weight in one go like over that year of year 13 I put on so much weight I went from like a size 16 to a size 20 in like a year and that's not good for you like at all it's not good for you and then I went to uni and then, no, and then I had my gap year and I went down to size 18 but I was still wearing like big clothes and then last year I went to uni um, and I again was still wearing size 18 clothes and I was losing like I was losing weight because for those of you that know me um, I'm not a very good cook and I am not skill in the kitchen and I don't know what to cook so I kind of ate like smaller portions of everything and ate better because like I was just eating the things I want to eat and I I have got a health like a healthy palate like I like salad I like chicken breast with not a lot of it on it I like rice I like like good things for you like I don't eat a lot of I eat I eat pasta but then I don't eat a lot of it or if I make too much then I'll put it in the fridge for the next day like I'm pretty good at that um, and I think that the person that helped me lose the weight the most is my boyfriend like he didn't know he was doing it or I, and I didn't know he was doing it either but he just like all made me want to be the best person I could be and being the best person I can be is not like losing weight for him like that's not what I'm saying at all because I didn't even realize I was doing it like I haven't been on a diet I haven't thought oh, I'm gonna go to the gym I haven't been to the gym my whole life like I didn't do it because I wasn't like I've got to lose weight now because I'm with Matt like I kind of ate better because he ate better and like I wanted to be healthy for him and I wanted to go on walks with him and I wanted to do all the things he loved because he's really into like outdoorsy stuff and um, that just helped me so much like being around new people that had different interests and I wasn't doing the same thing all the time he just brought a breath of fresh air to my whole outlook on myself as well like I have to be honest it was probably halfway through my gap year where I realized like shit I'm not as ugly as I think I am like I've always been told like you're ugly you're fat and then I thought one day like sorry and then I thought one day like no I'm not I'm not as ugly and fat as everyone says I am. And it was it was before I met Matt, like it wasn't any to do with any boy, it wasn't to do with my friends. It was just like a revelation one day, like I'm not shit as everyone says as I am. Sorry. And it was really hard for me to believe that. And then obviously Matt helped so much because he's so nice to me and he says I'm so like <laughs> this is really cringe. He says I'm beautiful and things like that and it just makes me believe it. Like I should believe it. Like I, I don't believe anyone in the world is ugly. They might not have the prettiest face but it doesn't mean they have an ugly heart like that type of thing. And I don't think I'm ugly. Well I hope I'm not. I don't know, like, anyway, so yeah, where I'm up to in my gap year, and then, like, I met Matt at the end of my gap year, um, and he just made me feel a lot better, and then I went to uni, I ate better, as I said, and I did a lot of better things for myself, and I put on my jeans that were size 18, and they just like fell off I needed a belt and I was like what? 
like how have I done this and I thought about it and I was like oh it must be because I'm at uni like I walk everywhere at uni um our uh, uni at Portsmouth is a city campus it means that like you have to walk everywhere um and then uh, I'd walk into town I'd walk to my friend Megan's house which is which was like a half an hour 20, 20 minute half an hour walk like door to door and just things like that like it's really not hard like to do and I only say like I'm a plus size woman because I've been there <laughs> sorry I'm getting really emotional I've been there I know what it's like to hate yourself and I and I hate the fact that other people hate themselves <laughs> like one of my closest friends like just looks at herself and in such a horrible way and it just makes me so sad like I love her so much and she should never look at herself that way and it makes me really sad that like I ever did that I'm sorry I don't want to get so emotional and of course I'm still not happy with how I look like no girl is ever going to be 100% happy I bet like the best models on the earth like Cara Delevingne on which she still hates like something about herself like it might be something so stupid but it's just a girl thing like and I know that and yeah I'm overweight but guys get over it I'm over it I'm not unhealthy I'm not not anymore I'm not disgusting I'm not lazy I can't sit and do nothing all day I did it today and I just was like I've got to get to work because I'm itching like it made me really sad that I just sat and done nothing all day and like I went to work and it just was so nice to just like do something productive so I'm not a lazy person I'm not I'm not bad I like being out and about and I like making my life a little bit interesting and I don't know if people don't like me or don't want to view anything because they think that I'm just like this ugly fat person that just doesn't know anything about the plus side of the world and I should just shut up and maybe I should but you know I feel like I've got something to say and I hope you guys like what I have to say and I'm really sorry for crying <laughs> sometimes you need a good cry at one o'clock in the morning or on a Monday morning <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry but I needed to let it all out I needed to, to let you guys know that I think I'm worth it and I hope you think I am too Sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for understanding. Because you guys that watch everything that I do make make me wanna do more and make more of this and be a better person and so thanks. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>